Hey guys, um, this is Ezra. I am an author off of Wattpad. That's my dog's latest. Um, I decided to upload some videos to YouTube just for something fun to do. And I had put out on Wattpad that I was thinking about doing this and that I would probably my first video would be to do questions and answers. And so the lovely Styles and Larry XX sent me some questions. And that's what I'm going to do today. So the first question that I was sent was favorite Wattpad story. And don't mind me looking off to the side. I, I've got some questions written down with answers on it. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, my favorite Wattpad story is, I've got a few actually. And honestly, I really couldn't narrow them down. Um, so if you watch this video and you want to know which ones were my favorite, I will be more than happy to let you know. Um, but so here they are. There's Spotlight, The Rebel and the Nerd, Fire and Ice, Twitter, Blossoming from Zero, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll Make This Feel Like Home, Maintaining Dominance, Unique, Sincerely the Quarterback, Broken, Maybe It Was Meant to Happen, and Growing Up. There's just some of them. That if I really am in the need to, like, just go and read and just kind of get away from what I'm writing and trying to work on, I will go and read these. Um, favorite Wattpad author. Again, I have several. Um, so here they are. Best writer ever ate. Back in the past. Blue Butterfly. Booksy Booksy. Phoenix Gray. SR Write Stuff, Positively Dazed, The Witch and the Cat, Grace LXOX, and Stylus and Larry XX. And if I pronounce any of these wrong, I apologize. Um, so third question is, favorite part of writing? Honestly, my favorite part of writing probably would be letting the characters that are in my head or the situations that are in my head out onto actual paper and then into stories. Um, another question that I got was, what is my favorite story that I've written on Wattpad? I've got a couple. Um, it's one of them is Spasmos, Spasms of Love. Um, that one is probably one of my favorites. And then Pure Snow was probably another one. But I like all of my stories, but those are probably two of my favorites. Um, another question is, thing I love most about life, seeing people grow and come into their own personalities and who they want to be in their life. And I don't care if it's, you know, a kid or a grown adult. We all learn. We all grow. I just love seeing people grow and learn and find things about out about themselves, whether it's good or bad, and just becoming who they want to become. Um, and then the last question I got was, if I could wish for one thing, what would it be? Um, I know this one might sound kind of ha-ha, typical answer. I'm not trying to be. Um, it's just honestly what I think is I wish people on this entire planet would just understand that we're all different and to embrace those, those differences instead of making fun of people for them or making them feel bad for being different. Um, and another thing, I guess, if I could have a kind of like a two-part wish, I guess it would be to that nobody would have to deal with stuff that, like diseases that can kill them. You know, that you can go along living life, being a productive member of society and happy and healthy and not have to stress about it for yourself or your family and friends. Um, sorry that I'm covering my face. I've got some teeth issues that I'm just not real comfortable with right now. I promise once I get them fixed, I will remove my hand away from my mouth. I promise. Um, so if you like this and I promise that I will upload, I, it won't be regular. Um, I'm going to think probably maybe once a week. Don't, you know, come at me, please, if I don't, because like everybody else, I'm busy. I have a life, too. I'm not trying to be rude. Um, So just, you know, I'm just doing this for fun. And it's just some.
something for me to share with people. I don't care if anybody doesn't watch it. It's just something for me to do. I enjoy doing stuff like this. I enjoy putting myself out there in situations that I'm not comfortable with and trying to get over that. So this is it. Um, and please excuse the mess that's on my table behind me. It's just kind of like my collect all area. And I didn't think about cleaning it before I did this video. So if you like it, and I'm hoping that my content gets better. And one, like I said, once I get rid of my teeth issue, I promise I'll remove my hand away from my mouth a little bit better. Um, so if you like this and want to watch some more and just so subscribe and whatnot, thanks for watching.